بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعض We're going to cancel the class today khwani, because I traveled far for the Khutbat al Juma, and I arrived from the Khutbat al Juma here right before Salat al Maghrib and I'm really tired وَفَاقَدُ شَيْءٍ لَا يُعْتِهِ I don't have anything to give as a result of being extremely tight. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. And I'm one of those people who I don't like to burden myself or overburden myself beyond my ability and my scope. I wanted to give the class, but too much. I spoke to one of the brothers who's responsible for organizing the classes, and it was decided that we're going to even extend the number of classes with Surah to Yusuf. Originally, it was going to be three classes, but now that's going to be extended, inshallah, azwajan. So that's for your information. The other thing is before Salat al-Maghrib, the Adhan, uh, some brothers came to me about a real serious issue, a really critical issue. And I got a call yesterday as well, where a group of brothers went somewhere on a high peak in Birmingham in order to see for themselves the correct time for Salat al-Isha. So they said that the, the Shafiq al-Ahmar is still showing at the time that we are praying Salat al-Maghrib. The time that we're praying Salat al-Isha, they're saying that the time for al-Isha is not in. I just want to make a few points concerning this and then we'll call it a day. First of all, we have to have husn al about each other. Everybody who's in the audience, I believe and I think you want to practice Islam the correct way. You should also feel that about me and about other Muslims. We shouldn't exist in a way like the lady who's wearing jilbab and niqab and gloves. She sees a sister who is lacking, for an example, in her hijab. So she looks at her with an izdira. Her nose is up in the air and she's looking down at someone else and she feels, I'm better than you because look what I'm doing and look what you're not doing. We shouldn't be like that. The reason why I mention this is the ayat of the Quran, إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ كَانَتْ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ كِتَابًا مُقُوتًا The salat has been made wajib prescribed at specific times on the believers. It's not permissible for anyone to pray a prayer outside of its correct time unless you have a delil. So we can pray a dhur and asr outside of its time if we're going to combine. At Maghrib and Isha, we can pray them together outside of one of their times if we can combine. But you can't pray Salat al-Fajr outside of his time, no matter what your excuse is. You really want to pray, but you start work at a time where you can't pray Maghrib, uh, Salat al-Fajr. You can't pray Fajr before the time and you have an excuse that if you, don't, if, you, if you don't pray it before it comes in, you can't pray it at all because of your job. You have to do something about your vocation, something about your job. You can't pray the prayer outside of his time. That's one of the Big heavy issues in Al-Islam. Nothing is more heavier than things connected to the Salat other than the Tawheed of Allah and the correct Aqidah. After that, most important issue under the sun on top of the earth are the Ahkam and the Adab and issues connected with the Salat. So the Shahid min al-Kalam is that the administration here and the people who are here are Ahlul Islam. They're the people who want to practice Islam. So they have a jadwal, they have a... Um, timetable for the prayer. I don't know the history of that timetable. I don't know the background of that timetable. But what we should do is, when these issues come up, we have to deal with them a particular way. We have to deal with them a particular way. Allah described the munafiqeen and many ayat of the Quran. I'm not saying anyone is a munafiq. I'm giving you this information that we should not be like the munafiqeen. So I'm not saying anyone is a munafiq or similar to the munafiq. I'm sharing with you one of their many characteristics. When he said in the Quran, وَإِذَا جَاءَهُمْ أَمْرٌ مِّنَ الْأَمْنِ وَالْخَوْفِ 
adha bihi walarudduhu ila rasul wa ila ulil amri minhum la alimahu alladhina yastambitunuhu min whenever something happens in the community the muslim community something dealing with fear or safety the munafiqeen they always spread it far and wide they talk about it over coffee they talk about it with the new muslim they talk about it with the children with the women they talk about it with the non muslims with the enemies they just have a lot of kada allah said if they only would have referred it back to the rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam or to those who have been endowed with knowledge the ulama the ahl al hal wal aqd if they just take it back to them then they'll put the best construction to it so the munafiqeen and this is the point they make balbala and dajja make we praying at the wrong time and then they start making people have doubt now these brothers didn't do that the way they came to me alhamdulillah they came to me in a nice way i said okay don't worry the imam talk to the imam right now and inshallah this situation is going to be handled but no for surety if this thing is wrong it's going to be rectified it's as simple as that and we say jazakumullahu khairan for any muslim who has hirs on doing the right thing especially in a time if everybody's doing it one way and then you come to say the way that you're doing this is the wrong way and you have your dalil this is an ibada that is mashkura jiddan in our religion and that's why abu bakr as-siddiq ridwanullahi alayhi after the death of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so many things happened where he stood by himself to defend the truth and to be upon the truth at a critical time and the scholar of islam said he was the jamaa by himself at that time although there were many other people but he was the one who stood on the truth everybody was against him so abdullah bin mas'ud he said al jamaa is the haq even if you're all by yourself al imam ahmed with the quran is it created not created he said it wasn't created all of the other ulama said it's created so that they can get escape going to prison and getting flogged and whipped so they said imam ahmed he was the jamaa on that day all by himself so those brothers they came with an issue i'm sure they don't want division and problems they want to do the right thing but we were saying when it comes to these issues and it happens every year when it comes to these issues of sighting the moon start in ramadan break in ramadan take it easy go to the responsible people and let them deal with it don't make a lot of confusion and a lot of balbala unnecessarily in the community with the ammat nas because that creates confusion and it creates unnecessary ikhtilaf and at-tafarruq so you brothers some of them went in right now i understand they're dealing with the imam so if we found out that that jadwal for the salah is wrong it's going to be corrected as simple as that but allah didn't make it anybody's responsibility here to go out somewhere on a mountain on top of some mountain over here in birmingham they told me the place but i don't even know that place but it's some high place uh, huh huh no it's another the tweaky something leaky hills leaky hills wherever that is so if you want to go to leaky hills just to have like an outing and you want to see for yourself i'm not against that and this is something and a knowledge that i think uh some of our brothers who come from like a sudan somalia the arab world they have more experience about these things and people were born in the city and they grew up in the city and they don't know anything about astrology and astronomy whatsoever so many of our brothers who have that kind of expertise and experience that khibra then you're going to be listened to you're going to be listened to inshallah so in our religion this issue of what we're dealing with in Europe where we fast a long time and we're maghrib and isha there's some ishkal we know for fact in our deen this thing has its answer and it has its correct way of approaching it when nazalna alayka alkitab tibyan li kulli shay everything has been explained in this religion so no one's nervous no one's afraid it's just let's deal with it the proper way so we're going to suspend today's dars inshallah as we jal until next week next friday 
because, oh, actually, there won't be a Deros next Friday because I'll be traveling to Canada. After next Friday, after next Friday, we'll resume the Deros of Surat Yusuf, inshallah. But we would like to remind you tomorrow is the big lecture. Try to attend. And we ask Allah for his hidayah and for al-thabat and for al-hikmah in our tasarrufat. Hada wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyyina wa ala alihi wa ashabi ajma'in. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.